Hi guys, it's Crafty K Bug, and today I'll be unboxing and reviewing the Super Crazy Loom. So let's get it open. So here's the box of the Super Crazy Loom. It says the biggest loom ever, and it says it'll make super wide and colorful projects. Unique six row loom. You can make letter banners, which I'll see, you can see on the back here. And that's the loom, and that's the hook. You can make water ball sleeves, phone cases. Banners, cuff bracelets. This loom looks really cool. And it includes one double wide loom, one hook, 2,200 latex free rubber bands, um, the uh, one string that is two yards so you can make these banners, eight buttons, 40 S clips, and easy to follow lettering template instructions. So I've already peeled off the tape here, but I haven't actually opened it. So let's see what we get inside. Some of them have like a chevron loom, also known as a, like, it was like a monster tail, but mine didn't come with that. So inside, here's the instruction packet. Um, it's, it just shows you how to do the bracelets and everything. Oh, the corners are, <laughs> don't like that. This is like an advertising thing for light bricks. If you know what those are, I don't really, but I've heard of it. And it just shows you how to make some different designs. So it looks like really clear pictures. And definitely how to, shows you how to do it very well. As you can see. So it's got some different designs that you can do. And on the back, it even has a letter template so you can follow these. And um, it has some tips and tricks and everything. I'll read that through that in a minute. And um, inside this cardboard, oh, it folds out just like that. Perfect. Here is the two yards string. That's definitely a pretty long string. So you could probably make a couple letter banners with that. It's beautiful red. Here are our buttons. I believe they said there are eight of those. So those are the buttons. And here's the loom. Wow. Um, it's a super big loom. And it's, it's pretty wobbly. I could probably break it. Um, but it's really not that bad. Compared to some of the limbs, I felt it does wobble a bit, but it takes some effort to wobble it. The pegs do wobble, so you're probably going to feel that as you're making bracelets. The hook does not fit. It kind of fits. I don't know. But that's the loom, and it is six rows across and 14. Up here is the hook at the top here. Let's see if it bends. And it does quite a bit. But it has this nice ball here. Looks like it would be a great holding hook. And here are the bands. Oh my goodness. There is like a gazillion in here. And there's the clips. There's 40 of those and like a gazillion bands. So, that's the bands. They don't look to be very high quality though. Even comes with clear, so in the middle of your bracelets you can put clear. So I'm going to just kind of look at some of the stu stuff and share with you what I um, think of it. So I'll be back. So I just made the smiley face on my super crazy loom, which is right here. And this kind of gives you an idea of how big this is. It's not just huge, um, but as I was taking it off, a band broke. And as you can see right here, it's one of those clear bands that goes in the middle. So I'm about to probably have to take this well, actually, I probably won't have to take it apart because all I have to do is pull out this clear band and it, it'll be fine. But this is what the bracelet, I mean, the cuff part of it looks like. And they say that you need to make a transfer and make another one. But I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to add an extension because I don't want to use up all my bands because I want to do one other thing on it. And I want to make sure I have plenty bands. Plenty, plenty bands. So, that is the smiley face thing. And I'm going to show you it on the instruction manual. That's it right there. And as you can see, the um, the face, it's black right there. And black eyes. But in the packet of bands, which is right here. Let me grab it. In the pack of bands, there's no black. So, that is a problem when you're wanting black. So, a couple of these designs require you to have black, 
Of course, you can just use a different color like I did. As, as you can see, I used blue for the eyes and red for the mouth. And it turned out fine. And I really like it. I do. It's just kind of creepy, if you know what I mean. But, so yeah, I'm going to do one other thing. But before I do, I'm going to review the parts of the Super Crazy Loom. Alright guys, so now it's time to review the parts of the Super Crazy Loom. First, we're going to do the instruction manual. The instruction manual I, um, I've looked at, and it's actually pretty easy. Um, it tells you everything you need to know, and um, it shows you how to do the designs and everything, and I really think it's a great instruction manual and the letter grid on the back I'm sure anybody could follow that so I'm really happy with the instruction manual now let's get on to the loom the loom is 6 by 14 which is very large and I like that however projects do seem a bit tedious when you're making it on it because it just takes forever finding the bands and putting them on and then the looping is not near as tedious but you know, and the loom itself, it's pretty sturdy for the most part, actually. Um, you can bend it like that a little bit. I don't think I could snap it right now. And the pegs do kind of come in a little bit, but that really doesn't make much of a difference when you're working. So I really like the loom. And nothing has broken yet, except for a band. And um, the hook, on the other hand, it is a bit flexy when you're working. But I didn't have much trouble with it, actually. And it's very long, and I like that about it. And so, yeah. And it had a decent grip to it, too. Because you just grip it right there, and it works pretty well. And the bands, I'm just going to grab one. Oh, I'll grab it. Maybe one, yeah going to grab one here. I'm grabbing this white one. And as you can see, it is pretty stretchy, but I can feel some resistance, which that is a great thing to feel in bands. There are joints on these bands, and they are very thin. And so they're not very good. As you saw, this band broke. Granted, it did have quite a bit of tension on it, but I still don't think it should have broke. And these bands can stretch all six pegs across and still have room. Um, they're pretty much, they feel a lot like Grand Balloon Bands, only they're a lot thinner. So, that's the bands. And then the S-Clips, I actually haven't tried out yet, but the clips themselves, let me grab them. The S-Clips, I have had trouble with these kinds of S-Clips in the past, um, so I don't think they're very good. And then the string and the buttons, I'm not sure really what there is to review about it. I mean... It's string, and so I I had mine rolled up, so I just rolled it like this for a while, and then after I got most of it rolled like that, off the two fingers before it cuts off your circulation, and then you do it this way for the rest of the way, and that's how I kept mine like that. I just kind of unraveled it when I showed you guys. It's kind of cool, but you know. And I don't really think you would have any trouble with that. I like how shiny it is, though, and it's red. Um, the buttons, same thing. I'm not really sure what there is to review about them. You just open them up and feel a couple. Oh, goodness. Do they not want to open? Oh, it's not Ziploc. Okay. So I just ripped it open. And I'm just going to grab one. I grabbed this red, I guess, colored one. And... I'm guessing you have to slip the rubber bands through. I don't think that should be too much of a problem. Where'd my white band go? Let's see if I can do that. You could probably use string to do this, like dental floss, like Craft Life Girls, if you've seen them. That's what they do lots of times. Yeah, that easily slipped through there. So you should have no problem doing that. Um, I think that's pretty much all there is about the buttons. I mean, they're not, like, flimsy or anything. Um... So yeah, that's basically everything that comes in the Super Crazy Loom set, and for the most part, I really like this set, this kit set deal, and um, 
So I think it'd be a great present for someone for Christmas time or for a birthday or something. Or just great to have. Um, however, if you don't have a loom and you're wanting to make the single chains and the zippy chains and the starbursts and everything, um, I would not recommend getting this loom just yet. Um, I would get a rainbow loom and then you could make some of those. And once you realize you really like looming, then I would get the super crazy loom as a second loom. Because it's just a really, you can make really cool things with it and it's super easy to do. So, that's why... I would get the super crazy loom, and as you can see, I pulled out the clear band, because it broke. I think it's really cool that they give you clear to go in between, because if you just looked at this, you wouldn't be able to tell if there's any bands in between. So that's super cool, and I really like it. So, yeah, that's the parts of the super crazy loom. I'm going to make a couple more things, and I think I'm going to show you guys. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, and this is what I made. I made a K, a B, a U, and a G. That spells K-Bug. So, thanks so much for watching, and um, the question of the video today is, have you ever owned a crazy loom or a super crazy loom, and if so, did you like it? So, please answer that down in the comment section below, and, um, I like the super crazy loom. I don't have, like, the plain crazy loom, but, um, I've got the super crazy loom, obviously, and it's pretty good. So, thanks so much for watching again, and stay tuned, because I'm about to give away a monster tail. So, once again, stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Bye.